Hello, guys and girls, of course. <laughs> guys and girls, yes. Put some respect on the queen. This yes. is our season. Yes, so, yes, so, definitely. <laughs> Once again, this is Ola, 74th Street Media. And I am so, let me get on your level, Ola. Based in Houston, Texas. So what we're discussing today, how we got started in videography. In videography, okay. You said you started doing pictures, right? Yeah, I started oh. doing pictures. Okay. And really both, you know. Do you still do both or? I only do video. You only do video. You know, if anybody asks me for pictures, I direct them to photographers. I don't um, take those jobs. I just um, outsource them. So that means you prefer videos then? Yeah, I prefer video over what's, photos. What's, what's your reason? Do you have? My reason? I just love, you know, you, it's like love at first sight. You know, sometimes you grow in love with someone, with something. So for me, taking pictures was cool, you know, and I can edit the photos. Doing video gave me more of a broader range to explore and to create with. Mm -hmm. I can create with photography, but not in a way that I imagine myself creating with video. I love just camera operating and just doing certain angles and just feeling the emotion with whoever I'm recording or if it's an event that I'm recording, but getting the energy as I'm capturing through video. But also when it comes to the editing, I love to find a way to tell a story that's compelling for the audience. As a music artist as well, something that I, with my music that I like to do is to ignite a feeling for my viewers, for my listeners. So that goes with video. I wanna ignite a feeling for my viewers Make them feel something if it's one of those edits, you know. So I just love with videography that I have, that I just choose to explore more right. creatively with editing and just capturing. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, definitely same here. How I got started in videography, <clears throat> it was actually by mistake. You um, love mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Because like I said, when I, when I used to work with Omi, mm -hmm. um, We only do pictures, right? Then Omi just told me one day, like, hey, do you want to do videos? I told him, no way, I'm not doing videos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told him, no, let me just stick. Because I'm so, because um, I've learned so much doing pictures, right? Mm -hmm. I only use, I bought Fuji, Prime. I'm, 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 I was pretty good at it, because I thought I was pretty good at it. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, oh, I'm going to learn video all over again. Yeah. Then I told him, no, I'm not going to do it. When we just went out and bought this huge, <laughs> this huge Sony video camera. I said, you. hey, take, go on and learn how to shoot video, right? Yeah. Then I started doing video. <coughs> then it was, no, I didn't, I didn't shoot video at first. Homie hired a friend of mine. He's an artist. Mm -hmm. I would like to mention his name. Abidemi. Yeah, his name is Abidemi. He was the one shooting videos and I was helping him. Mm -hmm. Does he still do it? Um, no, he doesn't do it. He's an artist now. He's a, um, he draws, mm -hmm. he like constructs something. Right. He constructs, he paints and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, so he, shoots, he was shooting videos. Yeah. And I was learning. Um, Video. Video from him. Yeah, it's not everybody's calling, you know? Yeah, then he knows how to edit too. At least, I don't know if he still knows how to edit too mm -hmm. now, but back then. So he actually taught me the basics. Right. And I said, you know what? I actually like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, 
I actually loved it. Yeah. The, same, the same way I did um, research during my videography days. Mm -hmm. I went to internet. Yeah. I started researching it. Right. Then I met, I went to shoot a video at an event. I met this the other guy that I met. I met another guy doing videos too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this guy edited his videos. So I just paid him. I had a two hour session. Mm -hmm. He just taught me basics, like really basics in editing. Right. How to up upload files. Right, right. Basics, how, yeah. Yeah, how to cut. Cut, chop. Yeah, for two hours. The first day was an hour. The mm -hmm. second day, an hour. I paid him. He said, now you know how to edit. Yeah. You go. So, so they, use that, practice, implement. Right. You got it. So I actually love it. I actually, you know, I say, you know what? <laughs> this is what I'm going to do. Then I started doing videos. And um, when I started my own company, 74 ST Media, mm -hmm. I said, you know what? Let me just stick to videography because I enjoy it more. Right. You can do a lot more. You can tell your story more. You can tell the story however you want. Like yes. if, you, if you cover, weddings like i stick to weddings now mm -hmm. you, you don't need to do it in linear form mm -hmm. you do it non-linear you can start with the toast right you can start when the bride is just walking out right. and then you know you choose to create truly in, in any way that is just captivating for right. the, the viewers and and my the the, the style is same thing as when i was shooting pictures mm -hmm. I do documentary style. Right. You know, I just, what I do basically when I'm editing, even before I edit, while I'm shooting the vein, I, I have an idea how the edit is going to go. Right. I just find the main character, right? Mm -hmm. It might be the bride, it might be the groom, mm -hmm. it might be a guest. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's why I love it so much because, you know, pictures, it's very predictable, right? Yeah. So that's one of, one of you, you. That's one of the reasons I switched to. After a while, when you do a lot of, when you do enough weddings, you can actually predict what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And you can. And you, and I get bored easily when I'm doing. Yeah. It's like cookie cutter. It's doing the same thing all right. over again. But but video, a lot things changes every time. Right. You know so. It might be a guest like knows how to dance, dancing a lot. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's my character right there. Right. Or sometimes it might, it might even be the priest if it's a church mm -hmm. wedding. So yeah. you never know. Sometimes those priests be acting up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. it might be the best man dancing or the best man or the bridesmaid giving a toast. And, you know, tears, the waterworks start, you know, mm -hmm. and we can start the video off like that. You know, because right. the editing is where you can really, like, make something so compelling like man right so that's not, that's one of my main reason i actually switch yeah so to videos and i, mm -hmm. I actually love it i i learned so much from it and one of the pivotal moments of my career so far was what year was that i think 2020 i believe it's 20 it's a when was the virus? 2020. Uh, 2020. 2020? Mm -hmm. then, the year 2020. <clears throat> then it's 2020, 2019. It was the year before the virus came. Mm -hmm. There's this guy that I follow. I follow him. There's a cop. <clears throat> I try not to like. A lot of videographers make this mistake, right? Do I edit? I like to uh, edit. A lot, like I said, when everybody's going right, right. I go left. Right. So what, the way I edit, like sheep. Yeah, we just tell the stories here, guys. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you just tell our experience. Right. So, but there's this couple of people. I um, sculpt him with time. Mm -hmm. It's based here in Texas. I think it's from Austin. And Fiona Films. She's based in New York. Mm -hmm. And. Um, Robert White, right? Robert White. Mm -hmm. Robert White is based in, I know it's United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's London or where, but I know it's United. Those three, I do look at their work and I learn a lot from them. Yeah. But the year 2019, Robert White, that's my pivotal year. 
Robert White at the seminar in Austin, Texas. You know, so I said, man, I have to attend this seminar. Right. It was a three-day event, and I learned. You went lot. all three days. I, I went two days. Oh, two days. <clears throat> I didn't go the first day. I met him. This, I went the second day, then the third day. Actually, I went three days. Yeah. But I went, I didn't go in the morning. I, I arrived like midday mm -hmm. because it's just get together. Right. They didn't really do anything special. Right. We just get together, get to know each other, talk, go right. to the bar and stuff. So it was the midday, the fourth day, then the second and the third day. I learned, I'm so glad I went. Yeah. I learned so much. Mm -hmm. I learned so much from him, that seminar. So that, that was a pivotal moment for me, actually. So. Y'all yeah. invest, um, you know, invest into just like the education of um, what you're interested in doing. You know, you definitely can broaden your own perspective and your mindset, you know, with just going to seminars, going to talks, whenever someone's doing a workshop. Right. That helps. Definitely. So, you know, it's, it's good, guys, it's good to buy gears and stuff. But if you really want to separate yourself, you have to go to all the seminars. Not all of them, but find some that you like. Mm -hmm. Go to the seminars and just broaden your horizon. You'll yeah. be amazed. Yeah. Man, I was, I was blown away. <laughs> I was blown away. Yeah. But you just know. with the experience and just with how much you were able to just take in. Yeah, yeah. and actually hone my style. That's actually, this, I, this is the style. I'm, yeah. I don't care what anybody's doing. This is the style. And that's a big pivotal moment for you. Like, for real, yeah. just finding your style and saying, like, no, this is it. You know, right. just being decisive. Because I feel like, you know, when it comes to being a photographer, videographer, <clears throat> you can do all the things, you know. But when you're able to just say, no, this is my thing. Right. And just excel at that, you know? Right. That's, that's very important to just... Just, just hone it, mm -hmm. try to improve your style. Like, a lot of videographers now, you see them doing three-minute video, five-minute video. They put music on it and stuff, mm -hmm. which is good if that works for them. Mm -hmm. I don't do that. I like to do, like, documentary style. I like to do like anywhere from 15 minutes to like 25 minutes. You incorporate audio, right. you know, you incorporate some music seg segments. That From the event. Mm -hmm. what's you're you're telling on. a story. Yeah, I tell mm -hmm. a story. So, because that, the bride and the groom, you are, trust me, uh, one thing I learned is um, when you edit, you're not editing for other videographers, mm -hmm. you're editing for the bride and groom guys. Right. <laughs> So, if you post stuff on Instagram and stuff, most of the time, bride and groom, they don't critique your work. It's other videographers that critique your work. And a lot of videographers get lost in that. Yeah. You know, it's good to get the advice if it's good or not, but you always have to remember, like, who's hiring you, who's right. paying you, if right. not other videographers. Make sure you keep your lens on the person Br who's paying, paying you. you. Not the auntie that's <laughs> just turning up. But then, you know, you're going to have footage with just the auntie turning up and you're like, ah. Right. So. Yeah, stay focused. Right. <laughs> so that was a big people to moment. And just decide what brand, what style you want to shoot and just stick to it. Mm -hmm. You know, so do you have anything else you want to add? Um, this segment? No, not necessarily. You know, not necessarily. Y'all just, everything you said. Yeah. Just, you know, when it comes to just your artistry as a visual creator, um, just invest into your craft, you know. Um, believe in yourself, trust in yourself, because when you have those two key components, others will be able to trust you as well. And don't be scared to talk about yourself. Don't be scared to continue to tell the world, this is who I am, this is what I do. Next week, this is who I am, this is what I do. It can feel weird and it can feel like, ah, this is so redundant, but you have to understand that you're, you're gaining new followers, you get, you're gaining new believers. So continue to be who you are and express who you are. Definitely. Over and over. Don't wait five years to, to say, hey everybody, I am this, man, every day. You know, tell us who you are. Let the people know.
let the people know. Brand yourself because you are your brand. Right. You know, when it does come to like being an entrepreneur, being your own business, you are your brand. You are the representative of your brand. So let the people know who you are.